So what makes a break-in oil a break-in oil? I'm Wake Speed Jr., Certified Lubrication Specialist, and we're gonna find out. As we've seen in many other videos, that the calcium level, the detergent levels, are really important to engine oils, be it for a direct injection engine or a diesel or a passenger car motor oil. Same thing applies here for a break-in oil. The key to break-in oil is really two things. One, a lower level of detergent, not non-detergent, we've already talked about that and how that was bad, along with a higher level of ZDP, of zinc and phosphorus for anti-wear protection. The second part of that is no friction modifiers. So let's look at a very popular break-in oil, actually one of the very first break-in oils to ever come on the market, which is the Driven BR oil. So let's take a look at that real close. So we start off with the viscosity, which is the most important characteristic of any lubricant. Being a 15W50 means it needs to be between 16.5 and 21.9 Cinestokes. Well, this is 17.9, so it's right there in the 50 grade range. It is a mineral-based oil. We know that by the oxidation value being 3.7, so it's a mineral-based oil, non-synthetic, 50 grade. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The detergent level, 366 parts per million calcium detergent. Not non-detergent, but very low detergent. And then the zinc and phosphorus level, the ZDP, 2,990 parts per million phosphorus. Basically triple the amount of a normal passenger car motor oil, 2,713 parts per million zinc. So very robust anti-wear package to protect that engine during the critical break-in stage with low level of calcium competing against the ZDP, the ZDP having more room to do its job along with no molly, no boron, no friction modifiers. A little bit of silicon in there is anti-foam. So that's what makes break-in oil break-in oil. It's not that it's mineral-based, it's not what the viscosity is, it's really about that additive package and changing the balance. Low detergent, high anti-wear, no friction modifier. That's what makes break-in oil a break-in oil. Thanks for watching.